Hi, everyone, and welcome to this 31st episode of Five Minutes with NY Ike. I am Isaac Sokolik, or NY Ike, on Twitter. And in this episode, we're going to talk about a certain type of detractors, those that are anti-agile. We're going to define them, and I'm going to share with you some secrets of how to convert them over into agile cultures and agile mindsets. Let's get started. Now, subscribers to the Five Minutes with NY Ike, my YouTube channel, know that I've been covering force multipliers in digital transformation over the last three episodes. I defined it. I talked about how using Agile with selected platforms can accelerate application development. And then I spoke about the intersection between citizen data science programs and data governance and how that can become a force multiplier. Now, the anti-pattern to force multiplication are when detractors get in the way of our programs. And there are a number of types of detractors. They do different types of behaviors, some of them intentional, mm -hmm. some of them unintentional, and they can really wreak havoc on our ability to transform and chase our vision. So in this episode, I'm gonna talk about specific uh, a specific detractor that I call the anti-agilist. So what is an anti-agilist? Well, there are many different types of personas and behaviors, but for this episode, I'm going to boil it down to three. The first are those I call waterfall planners, and they came from being project managers and project man working in project management offices for long parts of their career. Uh, some of them are subscribers of long-term planning before starting to execute. They may be okay with doing things in sprints, but they really want their GAN charts and they really want people to hit their midterm commitments. And when they don't, they ding teams that miss 10, 20% of their commitments. Um, and they're also looking for change management programs when scope changes. So one type of anti-agile behavior is what I call the waterfall planner. A second is almost the opposite. It's somebody who's d done Agile and Scrum for a big part of their career. It, they have a certain preconceived notion of what their way of Agile is. They're focused on elements of the Agile processes on the ceremonies. Sometimes they lose sight of the outcomes that that Agile or Scrum is trying to achieve. And they'll use a phrase, that's not Agile. They'll use that way of saying, you're trying to do something that's against the grain of the flavor of agile that I am interested in seeing in this organization. So again, a detractor is what I call the agile guru. And then there are demanding stakeholders. Now there are lots of flavors of demanding stakeholders and I've covered them before on this channel, but the ones that I'm referring to here don't understand or don't believe in minimal viable, but minimal viable products. Uh, they want to prioritize everything. They don't show up to the demos and we'll talk about that as a solution, but very important. If you're going to be a stakeholder on my agile team, you better show up to the majority of demos and they rarely thank the team. They're always looking for something more. So what are some of the things that you can do about anti-agile detractors? And I'm going to share with you five of them. First and foremost, recognize that there isn't a single flavor of agile. No matter what framework you think you're using, um, there isn't one prescriptive way to apply it in any organization. And a lot of what I do is help organizations figure out what their agile way of working is. What parts of Scrum, what parts of using different tools are, how do they want to conduct releases, um, what's the impact of DevOps and data and, and compliance on their flavor of Agile, and that becomes really key to being able to define your way of doing Agile. Second is to focus on some form of Agile planning. Now, at Star CIO, we have Star CIO Agile planning that we help organizations with. But even if you don't use our form of continuous planning, there are lots of other flavors of planning your backlogs. And to me, that's really key to getting waterfall planners, it's key to getting stakeholders on board because they get a sense of where you're going with your program. 
Third is to evangelize the role of the product owner. The product owner has to think about medium and longer term, has to work with stakeholders. And most people who have worked in traditional project management or traditional stakeholders don't understand the role of the product owner as the arbitrator of stakeholders and customers, technical debt and other needs and coming up with a set of priorities. Next is create your reviews, your sprint reviews, as theater, publicize them, get people to come with them. And where that leads to is that as you go through sprints and releases, celebrate your wins, right? That to me, between those last two, if you're publicizing your accomplishment, accomplishments, if you're celebrating your wins, it's a really strong cultural and statement to your detractors that what's going on in your agile practice is creating wins and is creating impact. So five different ways you can handle anti-agile behavior and support agile cultures. So today I shared three different types of anti-agile detractors and five different things that can start bringing them on board to your agile culture practices and mindsets. Now, if you're facing these issues and want to learn more about handling detractors, please see my most recent blog post. You can get there at starcio.com slash leadership dash detractors, the URL that you see there. That will take you directly to that URL and I share seven leadership detractors that are impacting your programs. And if you like what you're hearing and seeing and reading about, please do sign up for my newsletter, starcio.com slash 5NYI slash EP31 will allow you to sign up for my monthly driving digital newsletter. And of course, sign up for this YouTube channel, Five Minutes with NY Ike. Thanks for watching this episode, and I look forward to speaking to you in a couple more weeks about both force multipliers and detractors in digital transformation programs. Have a great day.